Hey guys, this is the story of Chris Jackson and his fight with the city of Ponca, Oklahoma for public records that's resulted in three criminal charges against him. Uh, all of which stem from him simply being in the building, doing official business of trying to get public records, and recording his interactions while doing so. I cut this video a lot for time, but the full uncut version is on his channel. I put a link to it in the description below. Just come and get some public records. I'll meet you out here if you want. I mean, it's pretty stupid. Is it? Private area, due to the nature of this office, no photography or recording of any type is allowed. So this is, he is standing in a publicly accessible public lobby. And if they don't want people recording through this window, then the win window needs to either not exist or needs to be tinted. You don't get to tell people they cannot record in a public place. If you want privacy, you must create it. Uh, beyond that, though, there really is absolutely no reason for this in the first place. They're just mad because Chris records himself getting public records and he records his interactions with this lying city employee. And she doesn't like it because there's already one recording of, of uh, these city employees. I'm not sure if it's her specifically, but one city employee absolutely flat out lied and said that this man made threats of violence. But he has a recording that proves that he didn't. Um, this is why they don't want him recording. It exonerates him when they want to make false charges and false claims on him. You can see right in this office, like, it's just stupid. And, and when these city employees testify of this in court under oath, they'll be perjuring themselves and there's a video to prove it. So... You know, if I were them, I wouldn't want recording going on either, but it's not for the purposes of preserving private information or, or anything like that. It's the best way to cover up crimes. Read over uh, 10th District's decision there, Mr. Bohan? Did you get to read over 10th District's decision? The Supreme Court of the 10th District, which governs Oklahoma? Yes, the verse, you know. So, making sure... Are you going to make sure your officers get the training they need for it? Okay. So he had previously been in this building, and uh, he was recording and documenting his interactions, and the police came and told him that he can't be recording. Uh, he educated them that, they can't, that he can, and that was the chief that he was talking to, and the chief has acknowledged, yeah, you can be recording here, yet they still have that sign there that's not backed by either a statute or even an unconstitutional city ordinance or policy even if they make such a thing they're still going to get sued over it um, but there's not even a, a law a statute or policy in existence to back up that sign after a while he realizes that they are not going to come back out and help him because he's recording so he decides to go into the open to the public office that they don't want him to be recording inside of this is another thing that's absolutely bizarre is that uh they say he can record from the window but okay Well, then I'll come in here and do it. Well, I mean, that's no problem. That off, no, sir. Please. If you, I need business done. I can, I can video. Okay. I just talked to G, Chief Bohan. Either determine that you're going to turn that off. I need public record request. If you're denying me that, that's fine. No problem. So are you denying me public record request? Sir, I am independent journalist. I'm part of media. I have every right to. Um, address grievances with my government 10th circuit district court or the supreme court has already ruled that i have every right to do this and that we it's a must by the citizens to do that to check your power because you think you're above you're above it i just need public records requests that's it and you guys can't charge me bullcrap prices to try to deter me from doing this you understand that right the i mean title 51 freedom of information act states it you cannot charge me bullcrap prices. Well, then give me an option to do my business outside there. Please. I have not cursed. I have not done nothing. Title 21, I know what it is. So the Title 21 that he's talking about says it's unlawful for any person alone or in concert with others and without authorization. I guess if you do have authorization, then you can be disruptive. But without authorization to willfully 
disturb, interfere, or disrupt state business, agency operations, or any employee, agent, official, or representative of the state. Down here it says, for the purposes of this section, disturb, interfere, or disrupt means any conduct that is violent, threatening, abusive, obscene, or jeopardize, jeopardizes the safety of others. Really, they're just, they're trying to use this statute saying that he's disrupting business because he is literally trying to demand that they conduct business, that they do the duties that they are legally required to do. He's not doing any of these things. This is an abuse of power for them to charge him with this statute, which by the way, the reason he's mentioning this statute is because they previously charged him with it. And once again, for this instance, for this video that you're watching right now, days later, they charged him again for this statute. And as you'll see, even though this video is cut up, I encourage you to go watch his full video that's completely uncut that will show him doing none of these things. They're upset because he is trying to make them do their job and they're charging him criminally because of it. I've not incited violence, nothing. I've not called you a name, I've not cursed, nothing. It's all on video, sir. Even though it would be I legal. Just a public record request, that's it. If you can't, if I can't come in here, you have to give me another option to be able to conduct business, sir. No, I have every right to film my employees. You're my employees. Okay. Do you understand that? You can't just tell me I can't film you in the conduct of your duties. Yep. I have every right to. The 10th District Court, Supreme Court, just judged on that. I have every right to film you to make sure you check your power. So give me an option. Bring me some public record requests out there. I tried to, to do this so I didn't get the police called and tried to stand out there to get my records and do what you guys want me to do. And you're impeding that, sir. So, so he has a legal and lawful right to be in this building, too. This is not a restricted area. This is absolutely 100% open to any member of the public to walk in. Okay? It is not restricted. He was still trying to go above and beyond and stay outside of this office and, and just stand outside of that window, knowing that he has a right to be in here to tr just so that he could try to appease them so that he could just get the records that he's there for. But, but that wasn't enough for them. They were going to refuse to serve him. She went to the back and I guess she just plan wasn't planning to come back. And so he's left with no option, but to, I mean, to push the issue. You're going to deny me public record requests. Is that what you're saying, sir? Are you denying me public record requests? Sir? Sir, are you denying me public records requests? So ma'am, are you denying me public records requests? I will be happy to give you a records request when you turn the camera no, off. No, you can stand out. No, I have every, then I stood out there. This is absolutely a blatant violation of public records laws. Nowhere in the public records law does it say that you get to deny records based on the fact that someone is recording. There are reasons that records are denied. Um, there are certain records that, that uh, for whatever reason, you cannot get, all right? Um, <laughs> documenting uh, your official business with public employees is not grounds for denying public records. They are, are burying themselves in so many lawsuits right here. I'm trying to get these. I tried to do what you guys want, and you're refusing. No, I have every right to record you in the conduction of your business, to do my business. And obviously he's frustrated. He's definitely frustrated. We can tell that. We can tell that by the tone of his voice. Um, and he would have every legal and lawful right to call them names, uh, to even cuss. Um, but he's not. He's being as professional as I would expect any professional to be. I would expect even the most professional attorney who's coming in to, to do business here to, to, uh, use this type of tone after being treated the way that he's being treated treated there, there's nothing illegal about it there's nothing and as far as i'm concerned there's nothing wrong with it you're treating your customer poorly god you guys are absolutely ridiculous <sighs> denial of public records request awesome <clears throat> And I have the from conversation me and you had recorded. You even stated you would bring them out to me. You understand that, right? I had the conversation between me and her on the phone recorded. She said she would bring them out to me, so I didn't have to come in. 
I have it recorded. I don't know what more he could do. He's trying to, he even tried to obey their unlawful rules. He's doing his absolute best to go above and beyond what, what he's required to do. The city attorney is a total moron, too. We're going to talk about uh, the statement that he made to the press about the basis uh, that they're using to restrict recording right here. What's your name badge number, sir? All right, buddy. How are we doing today? No, I didn't want to talk to you. I didn't call you. <laughs> Did I call you? I didn't call you. This is ridiculous. I ain't calling no guy with arm to the teeth, like to protect. Like I don't need no man to come and protect me. I'm good. No, I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm doing exactly what I am legally allowed to do. I would actually try, uh, like to file. I would like to actually file uh, charges on uh, John Gar- uh, Gonzalez and uh, I can't remember her name here for violation of Title 51 Freedom of Information Act. They're denying me. Uh, public records request, which I call, I have it on recording and everything. I called her to ask, like, what way I can come up here without going into that office to get public records requests, because they don't want me to film. Right. Well, I'm, I'm going to film, I'm sorry, but any interaction I have with these people, or you, or anybody public, you know, person, I'm going to record, which I have every right to film in there. Mm-hmm. Is that, those deals right there are unconstitutional. That is a place of business. I have every right to film in there. I know it, but I'm trying to give them another option without me going in there, to, without calling you guys. Very reasonable man. Give it to me. So that is a blatant violation, Title 51, which is a misdemeanor crime, punishable up to a year in the county jail, up to a $500 fine. I want to file charges immediately. Wasn't aware of that. I wasn't aware of that. I, I And I'm still honestly not aware of that. I thought that usually uh, denial of public records, you, um, I, I haven't done it in the state of Oklahoma, but I've watched a lot of Justin Pulliam in uh, Texas. And uh, usually what he would do is is make his complaints about violation of public records laws to the attorney general. The attorney general would uh, would make a decision on whether they did or didn't violate. But as as usual, government employees typically aren't really held accountable. There's another instance with auditing Erie County up in New York where he was denied public records, filed a civil lawsuit against the city. The city both had to give him the public records as well as pay for his attorney's fees. Um, so I, I've never seen denying public records being a, a criminal matter because typically nothing that government does can be classified as criminal. <laughs> because if it was, then most of them would be in prison. Um, but I'm, I'm not saying that's not the case. I, I don't know. I do know what's right and wrong. And I do know that that uh, no matter what the codes and statutes and, and laws are from state to state or city to city, um, it's definitely wrong to hide public records. There are rooms in City Hall. No, no. That is a place of business. I can tell you right now, dude, don't try. And he's saying there are rooms you're not allowed to go into. That is right. There are secured areas. Um, I bet if he were to walk around this building and we could see some examples of rooms you are not allowed to go in. If it's perfectly clear that the public, any member of the public can walk into that office, any member of the public, a secured area or an area that you're, that any member of the public is not normally allowed in. You're not allowed. If you're not allowed there, you can't record there. This is not one of those situations. They've got this absolutely 100% dead wrong. I mean, I've read and read and read because they've tried this crap. They tried me on <laughs> Title 21. Last time I was in here trying to say it was a disruption, which if you read it, Title 21 says filming cannot be construed as a disturbance. Can I come up here to the window, knock on it, you bring me out public records request so I don't go in there and film. John Gonzalez is absolutely refusing. No, we're not doing anything special for you, blah, blah, blah. If, if, if I'm conducting... By the way, the city isn't doing anything special for him. As a matter of fact, he's doing something special for the city by agreeing not to walk into a public office that the public is allowed to be in. This man with the camera is the only one who's trying to do things special for people who think they're special. And and clearly, maybe it was a mistake. You give them an inch, they take a mile. This is why we give you nothing, you government parasites. In business with them, I have every right to film it. Okay, they need to give me another option without having to go in there and film to get my public records request. They are absolutely denying it, and I want to file charges for violation of Title 51. They can, they can no, no. no. I, 
You cannot you. deny me public records. They're nope. Yes, can. they are. He blatantly, I have it on. You know what? Screw this. You I'm going. Like Ridiculous. I've tried. They won't let me in there because I'm filming, but I have every right to film. Yeah. That is an unconstitutional yeah. sign right there, Fabron. Yeah. Follow the Constitution. That's what you told me before, that you would follow the Constitution. It's bull crap, and you know it. As you can tell, he is very frustrated. I'll tell you what, though. Anybody who thinks that he's overly frustrated, you tr uh, go in and try to do this yourself. God, this guy is so reasonable and nobody around him will be. That, he's done, dude. His ass violates Title 51 and you are in violation for not filing charges that I, that I requested. That is a blatant violation. They refusing are, me public records they, requests. They so, yes, they are, dude. No, I've asked and they call you guys. They refused. No, I did not. They said Chris Jackson's calling us. That lady in there called <laughs> you guys. I didn't call you. I don't need you. I don't need another man to come protect me. I'm fine my own. That is ridiculous. I didn't call you. She called saying, oh, Chris Jackson's up here. All I'm trying to do is, dude, none of this would happen if they would just give me the public records request, let me fill them out. I would be in and out. But they have to do this. It is such a spectacle, it's ridiculous. I'm coming to the city council meeting tonight and I'm going to speak my voice. This is ridiculous. What is this city hiding? I want to see that what video. What corruption is going on? That there, there's no transparency at all. This is bull crap. I've read all this. This is crap. I've even contacted them because it shows nothing about them trying to take the lady's house. I mean, like, this is all Peyton Punk City, all great. Except for this is the sh it just, a cr I mean, it's a piece of crap town. We know it. Everybody knows it. I think the city's like that. Oh, oh, this <laughs> is... You've already told me, though, that they said if you walk inside, you can get them. They just don't want like to film them. Yes, which I have every right. <sighs> That's ridiculous. That is denial they of public have, records requests. The same thing if they won't let... It's a denial. A denial based on filming. There's nothing in the public records law that says you can deny public records because somebody's filming. Let me in there, they need That's a denial. I'm not same going thing, online. I can film thing, my public employees. The same thing that you're talking about. Dude, the IQ, the IQ of, of these badged morons is astounding. There's a maximum IQ allowed to be a police officer, a maximum. And I think it's like 70. Okay, you're saying they have a right to post. No they have a right to deny citizens. No, they don't have that right. Oh my God. I should turn off my camera and stop. I'm just getting pissed off. Uh, I, I can't believe the patience this man has. This cameraman has incredible patience. Yes, they are. Oh inside. my God, dude, I'm done with you. You cop explaining, you're ridiculous. You're taking it like, all right. Yep, I'll be filing charges. We can deny you public records if you are exercising your right to free press while asking for public records. Holy crap. Holy crap. How are you so stupid? Uh, no, it's not that, I don't think even. I don't think it's even that they're stupid. I think it's that they're not accountable. They could do anything they want. If me or you gets it wrong, if this guy with the camera gets it wrong, he gets, he, he gets uh, taken to jail, he gets charged, and he has to go to court, and he gets convicted. All right? <clears throat> He's already been charged, even though he didn't get it wrong, because <laughs> these guys have no accountability. So if they had the same accountability as you and me for being wrong, they wouldn't be wrong all the time. But there is zero nobody. I'm telling you, when this is all said and done and it's all over, this man is going to have money in his pocket. But the people that did this to him, every last one of them, nobody's going to be held accountable. That lawsuit is going to go to the insurance company. The insurance company is going to pay out. And tomorrow, these pieces of crap are going to be doing the same thing over and over again. No problem. Lawsuit. Fucking bullshit. And, and that's why no matter how many times me or you or him or anybody says lawsuit, law, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. You're going, to shoot, you're going to sue the insurance company? So? There's no accountability for me. Why do I care? Stupid fucking town. Incredible patience, sir. What? Since incredible patience. Hold on, Faber. Cite me the law that states that I can't go in there. Please give me the code, the law, or whatever that says I can't film in there. No, then you have me, all what that. What law would I be breaking if I go in there? Huh? Yes, and you guys can't give me a law that states that I can't go in there and film. That is a place of business. You can't deny uh, citizens going in there to conduct business. 
Uh, it, and guess what? Title 21 states that filming cannot be construed as a disturbance. There, Qualls. Interpret it however you like. Interpret it, it oh states my, it. Oh my God. You have the patience of a saint, Chris. The patience of a saint. What these guys are literally doing is blatantly, openly violating their own rules and laws. And why do they get to do it? Because of this right here. You see that? The gun in the room. Because they are willing to use any amount of force and violence necessary to get what they want. And you and me are not. And even if we were, I'm telling you, that's a losing battle. <laughs> Don't go down that road. But that, that is why he doesn't have to obey the law and a lack of accountability. This is so infuriating. Chris, you have the patience of a saint, sir. Yes, they are. They straight deny me. Don't try me, Paul. Nope, not happening. I don't have to. Look, I'm going by Title 21. You guys can go by whatever city stuff you guys want. Title 21 states that you can't, that they cannot. I don't care. You can. You see, he's not talking reasonable. Uh, he's saying what's going to happen, and that's it. That's the end of it. Um, again, he's got the gun. There's the law, and then there's, well, we're not going to obey the law. Here's what's going to happen. You're going to do what we say, not what the law says, because at the moment, I'm the guy in the room with the gun who's willing to do anything to you. And that's how it's going to be. And he says, I'm talking to you reasonably. Sure, his tone is, is calm and cool and collected, while he says, you're going to do what I say, or I'm going to do violent stuff to you. Uh, you know, we're not going to obey the law. I don't care how calm, cool, and collected you are, while you blatantly violate your own laws and your own rules. You're a POS, and you're, you're not being reasonable in any way whatsoever. So I'm going to send you to Chris's channel for this full uncut interaction. There's a lot more to this. The cops continually state that the things that are being done to him are specifically being done because he's exercising a right to record and document public employees. That's the sole basis for every bit of retaliation against him. Also, since I try to keep videos down to 15 or 20 minutes and I'm already over, I'm going to wait till the next video to talk about the ruling in the 10th Circuit that recognized the right to record police that was actually just established about six months ago. Now, in that case, the plaintiffs were recording police in a traditional public forum on a public sidewalk. In this case, we're looking at recording other public employees, not just police, and in a limited public forum, not a traditional public forum. We'll talk about that, the details of what it means, and how this case may set new precedent yet again, as well as go over the phone call that I had with one of the lieutenants with the police department, who doubled down on letting me know that they will initiate force and violence against anybody who tries to go into that public lobby recording. And because you're a police officer, you're the one who's, when I come out there, I'm going to end up probably dealing with you or one of your when, fellow officers. When do you plan on coming? I have not even put it officially on the schedule yet. I think two weeks. I, I think, okay, so within, within the next couple of weeks? Yeah, and, and make no mistake, there'll be no violence. I intend to fight you. Uh, it will be in court, though. It will... <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> it will be legally, it, it will so, be lawfully... I mean, are you, What's that? Are, are you are you looking to try to... So so my understanding of it is you're, list, you're looking to push the issue to see... To see, are, are you, is that, is that my understanding? Is you're looking to push to see how far you can take it before we arrest you and then fight it in court? What I'm saying is, is I that, think, is that kind of what it, what I'm saying is that, is that you should not arrest anyone. And that if we look at the statute, you would realize that you shouldn't arrest anyone. I've only filed two lawsuits ever in the history of doing this because most of the time I'm able to get reasonable people to be reasonable. From time to time, people are not reasonable. And I'm, I'm, telling you right off the bat before I even contacted you based on what I saw in your interactions with Chris Jackson I believe your entire municipality is unreasonable if you want to use okay. force and violence against me to try okay. to get what you want okay. in violation of the law all okay. I'm saying is I won't about, stop about, you from I'm, using well I'm uh, talking okay. the, the way that the way that communication well, I'm, works I'm, respectful I'm, communication is that we take turns speaking I, I, I don't interrupt you I get it, but I, I, under, I don't interrupt but, but you I, but I honest but but I honestly feel that that's Listen, I'm just going to cut the conversation, and and that's that. It is what it is. Okay. We'll see you in court, if you, son. If you show up to Pon if you if, you can call me son all you want, but if you show up to Ponca City, and that's if that's your goal, my I, goal I wish, is to exercise my rights. If your but, goal is to violate my rights with violence, 
I we will see you in about, court, son. I didn't say anything about violence, okay? What do you call I it when you put your hands on me and arrest me? You have a good day.